Going into more detail on the OSPF metric, the OSPF metric is based on the cost of an interface. And as I mentioned earlier in this module, the higher the bandwidth, the lower the cost. But this is relative to a reference bandwidth value, which by default is based on fast ethernet. So the reference bandwidth is 100 million divided by bandwidth in bits per second. It's basically 100 megabit per second divided by the bandwidth of the interface in bits per second. So here's some calculations that you could easily compare. A T1 link is 1.544 megabits per second. So if you plug in that calculation, then what you get is 61.76 or 77. The cost that's allocated to a T1 based on OSPF's calculation is a cost of 64. Now, Ethernet at 10 megabits per second, if we plugged in the formula, we get 9.5. Round that up to 10, so the cost is 10 on that interface. Fast Ethernet, we get 0.95. And so the cost on fast ethernet would be one. But here's a question. What about gigabit ethernet? Well, now we've got a negative value and things don't work out. So what we would have to do is, if we're running gigabit ethernet interfaces in our network, we would have to change the reference bandwidth for the entire protocol so that it would calculate the cost of an interface differently. In essence, we need to bump up the cost for everything.